everyone, I'm back with a quick little video to talk a little bit about star seeds, different star systems, the nature of time and past lives. And I am now live, but I've noticed that Instagram changed its settings again and you seem to be unable to upload videos anymore unless it's a real I have the impression, so let me know if this is also going on for you. That's why I decided to just go live with this, because I don't know how long I'm going to be talking about this. But so, I'm sure you've heard about star seeds, you've heard about how you can be a star seed and past lives and star seed past lives off planet in other constellations. But um, for those that have received an Akashic Records reading from me in the past, I always begin with this uh, like standard explanation of what my definition of dimensions of linear time is. Basically, let me just start off by saying linear time is an illusion. If you have first, second, third, fourth, fifth dimension, Linear time only exists up until the third dimension. Anything above the third dimension is automatically separated from linear time. So when you go look at your past lives, you will see that I don't like to call them past lives. I refer to them as parallel lifetimes. Basically, all time can be collapsed into this now moment. And when you go look at your past lives, if everything is happening in this now moment, then everything, all these soul aspects, you'll notice that I say that in a lot of my videos, I use the term soul aspects. Because I feel that your soul is experiencing all of these lifetimes simultaneously. This is also why it is very valuable to look at these past lives, these other incarnations of your soul. So your soul is having all of these experiences in different times, different realities, different dimensions. And the thing is, these experiences are influencing each other. So naturally, when you shift something in this lifetime, it's going to have an effect on other incarnations that your soul is experiencing in other times, realities, dimensions, star systems. And that is why with... Um, past life readings, Akashic Records readings, I'm really now going to put the emphasis on this now moment and soul aspects and how these aspects are all influencing each other. And the way I like to describe it in my videos is you can kind of compare it to this field full of flowers. It's like this field, all these flowers are in bloom. And all these flowers are existing simultaneously, simultaneously, parallel, next to each other. And you can go smell all these flowers. And you can walk over to a flower and smell it. Then you can walk over to another flower, smell it. In your perception, this is happening in a linear time. First, you go smell that flower. After that, you go smell that flower. The thing is, these flowers are blooming at the same time. They are existing at the same time. And this is the same thing with your past lives, parallel lifetimes, soul aspects that are existing all on the, like next to each other simultaneously right now. And this is also what is going on when you look at it um, in the universe, in the multiverse, we have, like people will say, I'm a Pleiadian starseed, I'm a Syrian starseed, I'm a whatever starseed. The thing is, I've very rarely seen a person that is connected to just one star system. And I kind of went on a little rant yesterday online about that, that that is just kind of encouraging more separation consciousness. If you go and um, you say, okay, I'm a Pleiadian star seed, then you're going to be identifying as Pleiadian and you have to be careful with that, not to use that as some kind of badge of honor or something. Because in reality, 
most people have at least two, three, or four different star systems that they are connected to. And the thing is, you come in with these frequencies and you may have more energy present from a specific incarnation. And this also shifts throughout your lifetime. Depending on which one of these soul aspects can support you in this now moment when you are going through specific things in your life, you will have more of a Pleiadian aspect coming forward for you in a specific time in your life. And then maybe a few months later, a few years later, you will have more of a your Syrian aspect coming forward, stuff like that. Or you will have your Atlantean aspect, which is happening for a lot of people right now, coming forward um, during specific times in your life. But all these lifetimes, all these aspects of you are existing simultaneously. Because linear time is an illusion. We perceive our experiences in a linear fashion so that we can make sense of it, so that we can structure it. And the good thing about this is that means... All of these aspects of you are existing now. So when you connect to a past, past life, parallel existence of your soul, your soul is just so vast and magnificent. It can divide itself into all these different experiences and communicate with itself in other times, spaces, realities, dimensions, star systems. And that is basically what I do with my Kashik Records readings. And I, I really want you to get the most out of this knowledge. That is why I tell people this stuff is going on right now all simultaneously. So if you go and you get this knowledge from the Akashic Records, either through meditation, through going to an Akashic Records reading, through getting past life hypnosis, whatever... What you're doing is you're just multi-dimensional traveling through time. You're transcending the third dimension and you are going into other layers of yourself. You are basically smelling the flowers in the field at the same time, which means that you can become aware of yourself in another star system, another time on planet Earth, whatever. And that aspect of you can be aware of you being aware of it. Please let me know if this makes sense. But this is what the, this is the power of the Akashic Records. This is what I really want to tell people. You can become the best version of yourself by understanding that you can communicate with your whole self by looking at it this way, by seeing that you can communicate through time and space because everything is happening now. And now let's go over to spirit guides. Um, a lot of people will say, I have a Pleiadian guide. I have a Syrian guide. I have like past life guide. That's a witch or a druid or a shaman. All these things are happening right now. That is parts of your soul that are incarnated in other experiences that are actually for them all in the now moment. So you are in your now moment, your past life um, as a witch in England or something is in the now moment in her time, which is actually happening all at the same time. And I encourage you guys to all read Dolores Cannon's books on Nostradamus, because she's literally communicating with Nost Nostradamus in his time, and he is aware of her in her time and time is just like being taken out of the equation completely and they are just communicating like separate from time and this is the power of your soul this is what you can do now i teach this in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship but you can also just do this in meditation you can do this by getting an akashic records reading and then you can really start to harness the power of your soul in this now moment and now, when you look at these spirit guides, your Pleiadian guide, whatever guide, Andromedan guide, all these guides, often they are just other versions of you. They are other versions, more advanced versions that um, exist in other star systems, in Atlantis, in Lemuria, 
But what if all of this stuff, if time doesn't exist, then that is just all you. So whatever you think, that you are not advanced enough, that you're not, not good enough, that you are not gifted enough spiritually yet, that is just this flower in the field, okay, that still has to remember everything. All these other flowers that are also part of the vastness of your soul have the answers, have the gifts, and you can just call them in, work with them, and I would love to teach you in mentorship if this is something that you're interested in. I have spots available. And when you go look then at the different star systems, like Syrian star system, Andromeda, whatever, all these different Lyra, all these places where we have all this assistance, look at everything as energy, Look at everything as layers. It is just all different dimensions of you. It is different versions of us in other points of evolution. I know that for some people that is kind of like a lot to take in. But the more that you work with the Akashic Records, the more that this is just as clear as can be. This is so logical when you really think about it so yeah that's just kind of everything that i wanted to share about that that you can communicate through time and space with yourself because a lot of your spirit guides your cosmic guides your past lives a lot of them are you a lot of them are you in another time space reality dimension and that you can work with these soul aspects, because this is really the term that I prefer using, soul aspects, instead of past lives, future lives, parallel lives. And another thing that may, may like make your brain explode, you can exist in the same time twice. That is crazy, I know. But there are people, I've seen this in the Akashic Records, that um, had a past life, in the 80s but guess what they're still alive right now and they were already a, they were a baby or something they were born and I see them as an adult in another incarnation in the 80s and then they're like but I was already born I was a baby how is that possible because your soul um, is not attached to linear time your soul is not one little thing that oh it's already incarnated in this person in the 80s uh, you can just transcend time and have another incarnation while the one incarnation is still ongoing because time doesn't exist and we see this with if you go and look at the book Anna grandmother of Jesus Joseph who is a soul who is a soul aspect of the ascended master Saint Germain was also incarnated in Jesus's uncle Noah who was later known as Merlin and both men existed simultaneously, and they were both part of the same oversoul, of the same Ascended Master. Now, it's not because Saint Germain is an Ascended Master, he has some kind of special ability to do this. The thing is, I've seen this in, like, everyday people. So, my readings are shifting to a more multidimensional way of looking at things, and it's just the only logical answer for me. And this is how I will be doing my readings also. Um, I don't, I no longer talk about past lives. And I'm going to talk about soul aspects. And the focus of my readings is going to be really to get you to connect to all of your soul. To get you to connect to these other soul aspects. But that's it. That's just kind of all I wanted to share about this. Just real quick. Because, yeah, somehow I thought Instagram um, allowed up to 10 minutes of video that you could upload. I guess they changed it because I can't do it anymore. I can upload a reel up to 90 seconds, but nothing longer. Let me know if you're noticing these changes or if it's just me. Anyway, I just wanted to quickly go live and... Yeah, just kind of share these thoughts with you, these insights with you. 
And if you would love to dive into this with me, I am passionate about just connecting people to their other soul aspects. So yeah, check out my website, send me an email if you want more information. And I will be back soon with more rambling about all kinds of stuff, probably. Bye-bye.